This is a sheet of aluminium from an offset printer. It's been used and we want to use the shiny side to print on. We need to create a tooth, so we'll use some jiff or some sort of cream cleanser and a bit of um, steel wool. Rinse it off and let it dry, air dry. And you can see it's got a tooth to hold the pen. Okay, in this container I have a mix of silicon and odorless solvent. It should be the consistency of cream. I'm going to do two thin layers. Just gently buff it over my drawing. The drawing has set a little while. So it won't smudge the sharpie. This is um, toilet paper and I've taken the center out so it makes a nice sort of pad. My second layer, I'll put the lid on. I might be able to use that later. Trying to get a nice smooth finish. You notice I'm holding the margin so my fingers don't get on the drawing. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I can heat it in the oven at 90 degrees for about half an hour or I can leave it overnight to cure. Okay, this plate has been curing overnight. It could have been 90 minutes in the oven, uh, 30 minutes in the oven at 90 degrees. Now I've got some acetone and I'm going to clean the plate. Just gently, you don't scrub it ever. Depending what markers you've used, sometimes it looks like the image has disappeared completely. But that's not the case, we hope. I think that's about all. You should always put your lid back on your acetone or else it will evaporate. Now, when you've done this, you finished with your margin, so you can trim that off. Now it's important not to leave your plate like this or the image may disappear. So the next step will be to put your ink on. Ink, which is a rubber based ink and a hard roller. The ink needs to be quite stiff. Now what you're looking for is a cover on your roller or your brayer. Now I put this on a board, an MDF board that's been covered with silicon. And you'll notice that the ink actually comes off the silicon. The faster you roll, the more the ink comes off. You've got to be careful that you don't catch your plate and it curls up over your roller. Quite 
quite a vigorous activity. I've got a registration plate on my press here, which helps me line up my papers. I'll just tighten it ever so slightly. I've already cut my paper. It's canaletta smooth and you can dampen your paper, but I haven't with this one. sheet I've also got over my um, felt blanket a little bit of um, cotton now this is an etching press with lithography you can run it through twice whereas with lino and etching you only ever run it through once I'll see if that pressure's okay this time you can lift up a corner and check it's not too bad. Okay, so there's my first print. Now I need just to fix up a couple of little areas, but overall I'm quite happy with that one. Good. Fix those little gaps. important to clean your press in between each. Lavender spray is really good for this and it smells nice too. Right, so the next person doesn't get any of your grubby background on their prints. That's it. Baby wipes are fabulous for cleaning your hands in between printmaking. Because this is rubber-based ink, I don't have to clean up my plate or clean up my inks until a few days' time. I can just leave them out in the open, apart from the cat, of course. 